All right, we are here with Fabrizio Andrade ahead of one championship, 158, this Friday, June 3 in Singapore. He's going to be taking on Kwon Won Il in the Bantamweight MMA title eliminator. Fabrizio, how are you doing? I'm great, man. Everything is good. Now, I see you've got a, a new hair color. You've changed it from the blonde last time I saw you in Phuket. Is this something you do every fight? You change your hair? Yeah, yeah. I start to do from my first fight, you know, and now just uh, I, I, I need to keep doing, you know, people just message me asking which color I'm going to do, just suggesting the color. So something I need to keep doing to entertain the fans. Now, you've been preparing for a while. I saw you up close in uh, Phuket. Uh, are you feeling you feeling perfect 100% going into this? It's been a long time coming since your last fight. Yeah, 110. I never felt so weird in my life. Uh, this camp was perfect, you know. Uh, I don't remember a best camp that I have in this one. That I improved so much and I feel like weighty and strong for this fight. Now, we just spoke to your opponent. Uh, he says he has no no issue with you. He likes you, but uh, he just he wants to shut you up. He says he's going to punch you in the mouth for three rounds. Uh, how do you respond to that? We are not going three rounds in this fight, you know. I'm going to finish him in the first round. He's a nice guy. No. I know he's very respectful, you know, but he's in front of me now. He's on my way and I'm going to take him out. Do you see this fight as a rivalry or is it just another guy in your path to get to that title shot? It's just another guy, man. Just another guy on the way. Well, I guess if you beat Quan, you're going to be calling out John Lineker inside that circle, aren't you? I hopefully I don't have to call him out. I hope he's ready because after this fight, he's going to have to fight me. And you were calling out everyone in that top five, weren't you? Do you think there's anyone in this division who can match up with you? Uh, I think after I beat Juan, you know, he's, uh, I think he's one of the best strikers of the division. And after I knock him out, people are going to see like the difference on our levels, on my level in this division. You know, I'm, I already told you, I already told everybody, you know, I'm a level above those guys. And when I finish him, it's going to be another statement. And Jolene, I get, John Lineker is the guy I want to fight now, you know, he, he holds the belt and he's the main guy that I want to fight now. If they tell you, no, you're not going to get the title shot, you need to beat one more person. Uh, uh, how would you react to that and, and who would you want to face? Would you be upset or would you accept that situation? I would be really upset. If, if is there anyone else you think you have to beat, you know, realistically, or are you the man if you win this fight? I don't think there's anybody I have to beat after Kwon. You know, if if you see me and the champion, we got the same record in one championship, uh, three finish, one decision. So it's the fight to make. You know, after I beat Kwon, I'm gonna have even more wins than he does in one championship. So there's no other fight that makes sense but me and him. Now, I think you were pretty disappointed you didn't get a performance bonus in your last fight. Do you think you're going to score an even better knockout and you're definitely going to get a bonus this time? I want to make this one faster so there will be no doubt to know. I want that 50k. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking forward to Lineker. If you get that fight, if you win this one, there's a lot of hype about his power, those hands of stone. A lot has been said about it. Um, does this make you more fired up to prove that your striking is above his? Yeah, 100 percent, you know. Uh, I know he got power, you know, he's a short guy, very short for the division. So 100 percent he got power. But if he cannot touch me, his power is not worth anything, you know. Now, you and Jared Brooks, you're maybe two of the, uh, let's say, loudest fighters on social media in terms of building up fights. Uh, while Jared has shown respect for his opponents on social media after their fights, you seem to kind of move on, uh, put your fallen opponents in the rearview mirror behind you and you keep looking forward to the next match. Is this some kind of strategy for you to prepare for the next fight? Or do you, do you have respect for the fighters you've beaten or do you not respect them? Uh, bro, honestly, I respect anybody that steps in the cage, you know. It's not easy to come here and do what we do. It's not an easy sport. It's not, it's not easy to just go there and fight somebody, you know. So I have a lot of respect for anybody who does that. But on the end of the day, it's business, you know. Everybody want to win. 
and I know I'm the best and then I'm going to keep like finish those guys and to prove that I'm the best fighter in this division. And talking about respect, do you think you get enough respect from this promotion, from fans, from other fighters? I think I'm getting there. And a win here, no one can deny you, right? 100%. And for the way I'm going to win, it's going to be even better. Now, you've, you've often said you're one of the best bantamweight fighters in this division in one championship. How do you think you would stack up against other bantamweights across other promotions? Uh, I don't think I'm one of the best. I think I'm the best bantamweight in one championship. And I believe I'm one of the best bantamweights in the world, you know, and I'm ready to prove that anytime. All right, tell us what's going to happen then Friday night. What are we going to see inside that one championship circle? You're going to see uh, Fabricio way um, stronger than ever, faster than ever, ready to finish the fight in any time. And there's going to be a first round KO. All right. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you. Wonder boy, Fabricio Andrade, going to hunt down that bantamweight title, looking for another KO against Juan Thank you so much, sir. Let's go.